I ain't got any health. Fifty dead already. Karen, anything you want to chat about? Or he's just content. Tonight is content, happy. Yeah, hold on. Oh, he got. Okay. Where is that? Huh? Oh, around here. Where did he? I'll get you. You did say you did say you deal with it by yourself and stuff, which has to be respected. thing is is like my partner kind of resembles what's that just move him ass off the sofa I need to get myself into bed uh, no nah, because you resemble like like my partner man she, she she likes to do things on her own just like you so you know it's just different it's different to understand it from other people's kind of views, not in a bad way. Not everyone, not everyone wants help, man. You just have to, un have to understand that. Lesson learned, isn't it? Don't say that. That's not true. Shit, I might not even make it. This could be bad news. But if you open up and... Well, it's not if you want to, it's just... Really, it's about... Who you can trust. That's the first and most important thing, is about who you can trust to open up to. You've got to have that, that's like... That's like number one... It's like number one key ingredient. Thank you. Whether I can use this in, I've got 9% so I've got to be like mega careful. God damn. All I can hear is snipers, you know. Yeah, to me that's got to be, that's got to be key, crucial. You know? It's like, who you can open up to, who you can be comfortable telling people things. And more importantly, do you feel, it doesn't, it doesn't at all. See, my house, I used to have everyone here. Everyone used to come here, play games, chill, drink, smoke, whatever. Now, no one can do that. And it's driven to some of them, a lot, some of them, a lot away. Like, some of them, 
some of them may never come here ever again that's how some of them feel now there's some people I used to hang out with some of them don't want to hang out anymore some people feel some people feel suppressed as well like some are mentally some are men more mentally challenged I wouldn't say mentally challenged for me I'm kind of like I'm more I'm very used to being on my own at times you know I don't mind it I've got methods towards it but all this stuff I have here it doesn't mean anything on my own well where are we going to drive we're going to drive two different cars get some health as well what's that got 66% Give me two minutes. Sure. damages all done get to one of these gonna follow his ass <gasps> oh shit oh my god Have a good night, Mozzie, if you can. Yeah. Bro, go and... S bro, save yourself, save yourself. Don't stay here. Go, 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 go. Oh, my. Save yourself. And after this, I'm going to do squads.
do squads, what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to change party. I don't want to be in a party. I don't want to be in a game chat with these people. I need to get off here. We well, got 20 minutes, 15 minutes. All right, we can chat for 15 minutes. I'll go. I'll jump off at two as well. I'll probably do two. I'll probably probably be what if I can get to the end. This would be the one game. But let me say something just between us two, in it. Like, like, I'd like to think that I've known you long enough so that me and you can chat about anything because I, I consider you like a proper friend that's how I consider it so like I said hold on uh, no one's in it so like if you're ever down and stuff like that you can talk to me no problem Sorry, mate. You. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah. I'm not playing. This is the one time I'm going to actually say I'm not playing for them. I'm playing for myself. Yeah, they've all gone separate anyway, so it don't even matter. to talk to me girl listen if I was one of those guys that was like you know came into your life and chatted to you and broke your heart fucking for 15 minutes later I could understand but I'm not you know that's not who I am you shouldn't and you've known me longer than anyone you should know I'm not that kind of person who's going to do that I don't want to like chat and help someone and then dust them aside on the other side of the road. And that hurts, man, you know. And I think a lot of people, they don't realise the things that they do that hurt people, spiteful things. Even the most minimal spiteful things end up like killing people. Like, like, like that TV presenter, Caroline Flack, she was one of my friends, man. And they even said it the other day in the inquest, my mum was saying, that she thinks the media friends, they left her for dead. I do believe that. I do believe some of them left her for dead. They left, they grounded and hounded her to get massacred. And then now people are stirring around. Nah, it wasn't me. I wasn't involved. I was Caroline's friend. I wasn't doing any of that to her. There was multiple people trolling her. And and the, what makes it and what makes it even more fuckery, coronavirus at that time G wasn't even wasn't even happening, wasn't even happening. Media grounded her to the grounded her to the shit, mate. I've got everything I wanted. Cut that. Health would have been good, but I can live without it. Oh, what we got here? Seventy-seven percent. You can't. You can't. You're right. You can't. Let me explain one for you. Hold on. But you got excuse. You got excuse. You've got to excuse the master's driving, yeah? The master's driving school is awful. So I'll...
Oh, please don't sink. As long as it don't sink, it's fine. You know what? I'll sit here. So I was saying, yeah, so when you have your troubles and woes, there's a load of guys that I can sit down with and I can't tell them anything because everything they say is, yeah, man, it will blow over. Yeah, man, whatever. Yeah, man, life will be all right. They don't take anything seriously. Like, seriously, they don't take anything seriously or they just, they're not really, a, not really a friend that wants to listen, you know? That's the kind of, that's some friends are like that. They don't ever want to listen to anything. And then one day when their person passes away or something like that, they'll be the first one saying, do you know what? Oh, I, I knew them. I knew them so well. But if only, if only nothing, man, you didn't know them because otherwise it wouldn't happen. You know, those things would never happen. That's why I always worry about my friends. Yeah, because even the smallest thing, yeah, even the smallest detail. Is that... Do you think I'll do that to you? No, I can tell. I'll tell you straight out, that's not me. Oh, shit. It's time for me to duck out, mate. Go underground. Oh, look at that. No, I know, not me personally, but... But in, in fear of hindsight, there's too many, too many constant people Especially family as well. When family, family don't support you, you feel like you don't have anybody, and you should, you feel like you burden your own friends. That's what it is with, with some people. I know that. Do you think my family supports my gaming? My family don't support my gaming. I mean, okay for the prize money and all that, but really supporting? Nah. Never, mate. I'll tell you that now. Oh, I can see him over there. Look, oh, that shark will munch on them if they're not careful. I always, I always talk to my friends, but I get ignored at. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some people they don't, they don't take things seriously. But then when it happens in their life, they just, I don't know, I don't know what to do. And that's why, some, that's why they have no life skills. So like I said, Karen, I take, I take my friends, I take my friends very seriously. Even at low tier level, even the smallest things in detail can be like the most deadly. can say is I'll always be if you regardless I don't care if it will be another 16 years so long as you're one of the only few people I've never really fallen out with and I don't really intend to do that any anytime soon so I mean the only person I fell out with which the only person I fell out with which was a shame was Holly man and that was like a 15 year friendship, you know? That was just, whatever reason. Where's these people? Christ, man. 
from mad on Mole's room. I might seem all sweet and innocent, but I've got another side to me when pushed to my lip. Lies. Lies. Listen, have you given her, like, have you give her one of those dragon punch and fireballs? Yeah, I'll knock her out, mate. <laughs> Gas station's got no cars. To, no cars to steal. Bloody hell. Oh shit, look at that. Oh, someone's fucked it up. God damn, look how hard it is to drive. Oops. Does it actually heal the car as well, or doesn't it? I don't think it does. Oh my goodness. Even. I can't wait for Resident Evil 4 to come out. What? Oh, you mean the HD? No, I'm not into all that. It comes out, the game comes out, but... I can't play 4 anyway, I'm left-handed. There's no left-hand, there's no left-hand controls to this day. They said to their, they said to their community fan base, like, go, go, bust them up, mate. <laughs> yeah, the remake. Karen, if I said, would you come and play this, would you play this game? You don't have to stream it or nothing. I'm thinking, shit, how am I going to get down this? How the hell am I... Well, let's go that way. I don't even get... Survival of the fittest. Any game, it doesn't have to be this. You get a game that's social or a console. I'll help you, I'll even help you with the funds to buy it. And you can come on the headset, and you can come and chat with me every, any day, every day if you want to. You even had Black Ops 2. Well, we couldn't really chat. We, well, we did. We did chat a few times. But I think your kid, your sister's kids, were on it. Sure, they were on it, and they were making heaps of noise. <laughs> there, my team is gone. The only thing in this this game is social. It's a very it's probably the most social game. And do you know the thing is, this is going to be a bizarre thing. What I'm going to say to you, see when you got all these kids who get ignored by their parents. Yeah, this is kids. This is kids escape from their parents, isn't it? Because their parents 
are not always there for their kids. So this is what they do in their time when they're like free from shit. It's like us adults, man. When you want to escape your phone bill, your rent, council tax, money issues, money problems, family, friends. It is shit. I don't see my family. Let me tell you something. Last week, early this week, someone put a knife to my mum. Yeah, you should have seen how fucking mad I'm going. I'm going mad. I had to go and spend thousand pound on cameras for my mum's house. You know my family? They're like, they come out of things like, oh, she don't worry about it, mum. It will blow over. She'll be fine if you put her in a home. That's how they're going on. Damn. Hang on, how much time I got? I got five minutes. Look, all my shit fell. You ain't got none of my shit, mate. You got nothing. Nothing. You thieving tramps. Look at you. Thieves. Thieving thieves. <laughs> family. Family is awful, man. I'll see my mum Monday. Yeah, I'll see my mum Monday and she was upset, man. She told me that her partner, her partner was walking the street and he had a load of money and some woman was following him and she was saying she was going to the hospital and she said, oh, if you're going to the hospital, I'll go the same way. And then he had keys and went into my mum's and this woman walked in with him. What's that? Oh. And as she went in my mum's ass, she stole, she stole a shitload of things in my mum's. Like, I was so fucking angry with her partner, man. I had to phone their family and tell them, like, what he done. And they, they didn't really see, the, they didn't see, like, the grasp of it. And I said to them, do you not understand, like, what he done? Like, he let someone else in the house, they could have been killed. You know what I mean? That woman could have killed the pair of them and no one would even have known. And then I'll sit here and I'm like, you know, it drives me, it infuriates me, it infuriates me mad. Everyone else is just like oblivious. They don't look at, they don't look at the real situation. They're just like, oh, you know, it's just someone that just jumped in the house and thieves some stuff. Pretend, pretend to give my mum a cuddle. She lost her locket chains and shit that cost like up to 600 quid. I'd rather lose them things than get stabbed or something, you know? <gasps> I don't see my mum for weeks showing you rings where my sister goes grassing. Grassing about what? You! Why do you even... I can't remember her name. Is it Kim? I can't remember her name, though. Lou and Kel. Oh. I don't know. I just remember one of them. One of them used to chat some, I don't know if, if I'm correct, but I just remember one of them had a PlayStation 3. Oh, was it an Xbox 360? And the party shot. I swear, like, one of them tried to embarrass you, man, and I wasn't having none of that. I was like, nah, I mean, I'm not staying this far. This is nonsense. Nonsense. That was, like, a long, long time ago.
That's the master's, the master switch. The electricity. <laughs> she admits electricity. Yes, Mozzie, I'll take care, man. We'll catch up. We'll catch up sometime soon, innit? Like I said, if you ever want to chat, I'm here, man. I'm always about. You know how to find me anyway. Karen, I'm going to stop this, but I'll chat to you on WhatsApp before I go to bed, yeah? You're welcome anytime. Karen? Yeah, okay. I'll just message you quickly before I go in. Let me stop this.